Hi and welcome back to another video. So today you are joining me back in the kitchen to take a look at a new product. It is the Ninja Auto IQ BL642 blender with also as well multiple accessories. So let's take a look in a little bit more depth at what the product actually is, how it works and let's see some of the results. So I'm no stranger to blenders. I do love a good blender and this is definitely a beautiful example of that. This is probably one of the nicest looking ones that I've actually had on my countertop. And to be honest, given the fact that it comes with so many things within the price, I'm quite impressed. So this is a 2.1 litre capacity jug. You can create quite a lot of things in this. It comes with three blades already on the actual unit itself. It's going to allow you to put in raw fruit, veg, chop it up extremely smooth, or using the different types of functions on this front panel, you can actually create it into multiple ways. So you may want it slightly coarse, chopped up, things like that. So again, it's going to give you real flexibility over what your creations come back with. Now this allows you to create some really, really good things. So if you want super chopped up ice, making them frappuccinos, or maybe you want to create a nice little breakfast shake or you know a winter green shake, something like that. You can create something very quickly and rapidly in this jug. Now the nice thing that comes with this jug is it's actually got a full pitcher on it. So what you can do is open up this front lip just here and you can actually use it as a full pitcher. So maybe if you're running a nice little party at the weekend because it's nice and sunny, you could create a nice little margarita or two in this. Or maybe a nice little mocktail. I don't know. But let your imagination run wild with this. So it comes with this wonderful jug, but also as well it comes with these three different capacity um, on the road shake bottles. Now for me, I do love taking a good shake on the actual road, so if I'm running late or I need to jump in the car or on the train, I like to take one of these with me. So it gives you the flexibility of having different sizes. So we've got a 900 mil here, we've got a 650, and we've got a 500 mil. All come with flip top lids, screwed with a seal on them. So you're not gonna have to worry about creating your wonderful breakfast oat shake on here and then popping on the lid and it leaking all over your bag. I mean, that's the worst thing, especially if you put protein shakes in them as well. Now, the great thing that comes from Nutra Ninja is the fact that I can pop this on. It's got the seal in there and I've got a sealed flip top as well. So it doesn't matter. I can throw that around in my bag. It's pretty much indestructible, it's clear, it's got wonderful symbols on the side so I can see what capacity there is in there. So again, if I'm tracking my macros or if I'm wanting to ensure that I've got a really good understanding of what I've consumed or for the mixture that I'm putting into it, I personally have used blenders to make things like waffle batter and pancake mix and Yorkshire pudding mix and things like this. So I've been able to actually use it to look at the different quantities to put in them. Now for me also as well, being able to track the actual amount that I've drunk of a shake is also as well quite handy. So I think the first thing that what we need to do is actually take a look at the actual unit in operation um, and then we'll see what the results are. So let's get to it. So I think the first thing that what we need to do is show you how the actual machine works and what I'm gonna do is give it one of the toughest tests that you can give one of these and that's either raw fruit and veg or ice cubes. Now ice cubes are a great way to show how this actual blade system works and how actual powerful this machine truly is. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these things over to the side. Now as I say, it comes with these three different size cups. It also as well comes with a wonderful guide here that gives you all sorts of wonderful recipes, different ways to actually use the machine, but also as well, it gives you a full list of how to quickly assemble the unit and it comes with some real quick tips on exactly how to use this panel and what the actual buttons are there for. It also as well comes with a standard operational guide and this just gives you the more in-depth information on the actual device itself. 
So I'm going to pop them over to the side and what we'll do is we'll start putting some ice in the jug and blend it up. So before we actually put the ice in the machine itself and get that blended up, what I want to show you is one of the key features that I've really liked about this actual machine. Now the fact that most blending machines, you tend to just put on the countertop, turn them on, you blend whatever you want and it moves around or you've got to hold it and you've got to shake it around. This is different. So as you can see here, I'm properly pulling on this machine. It's stuck to my countertop. Now, you can actually remove and move it by pulling on the bottom. There's two little handles on this bottom and there's four massive suction cups. Now this is just to ensure that it doesn't move around while being in use. So I can pop that down and again, there you go. And I can just move that around quite simply just by pushing the two buttons underneath. So. Let's open up the jug. Now this is quite simple to do. On here we've got a little release button and what that'll do is that will pop up this handle. This allows me then to pop that off and let's pop open some ice. I'm just going to pop in a little ice into here. Sorry to the headphone users out there. And as if by magic, the ice has disappeared. We'll bring that back in a short while because we'll be making a wonderful little shake at the end. So I'm just gonna pop the lid back on. Very simple to do. Pop it in, it's aligned. The actual pitcher nozzle always needs to be the opposite to the handle. It's actually got a little arrow to show you exactly how it needs to line up. And then just pop down the handle. It seals it all in. Very simple indeed. So all we need to do is just align it onto here just got to make sure you've got it in the right way and then it'll clip into place. So all we need to do is just press on the power button and then we've got a load of different options. So we've got things like if we're making frozen drinks or smoothies, if you want to make a puree, so maybe you're doing, I don't know, a raspberry coulis for a tart that you've made, you can do it all in here. You've got low, medium and high. We've also as well got pulse function. We've also then as well got the Nutri Ninja Blend and the Nutri Ninja Ultra Blend. Now these two options here in the top right are mostly designed for putting these actual units on. The other ones are very customizable and designed for the jug itself. So I think what we need to do is press the button on and see what the results are. So I'm just gonna pop it onto, um, let's pop on frozen drinks and smoothies because again, it's a frozen drink or pretty much something that's frozen. And we're nearly done. Okay, I think we're pretty much done there. So if I open this up, wow, okay. So I'm gonna get myself a spoon. Should have thought that before. Okay, so if I pop the blade down there, what we can see is this is pretty much like snow. As you can see, it's so, so fine. It's wonderful, absolutely amazing. The fact that this can cut this all up so quickly, but also as well get it so fine. I mean, that only took, what, five or six pulses, and it's just chopped up all that ice perfectly. Now, if you were to mix this all up with maybe some fruit or maybe some coffee, you've got a lovely little mix for a frappuccino here. Okay. So I think what we now need to do is make a little shake and see how it responds to some fruit and some milk. So you're in a rush, it's breakfast time, you need to catch that train, but you really need a quick breakfast. So I'm gonna show you a quick way to get on the road and have something healthy to eat at the same time. So we've used the ice on the actual unit there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these blending units, we're gonna pop it open, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna select a few things. So what we need to do is put the hardest piece in first. Now this is gonna be the fruit. So what I'm gonna do is just pick in a few of these. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got some fruits in there. The next one is some oats. And the final one is your liquids. So again, what we need to do is just ensure that we've gone with our hardest piece through to our softest piece or liquids at the top. And basically all this information is contained in these wonderful little handy guides that actually come with the unit itself. So don't worry too much. There is also as well some wonderful YouTube videos and some wonderful information on social media from Ninja themselves. So just check that out. Just search on Google for Ninja. So all I pop in is just some milk. And there we go. All we need to do now is pop on our blades and nearly cut myself there. Have to be very, very careful. These are so very sharp. And the fact that these have one, two, three, four, five, six blades on them. They've even got blades on the top part here. And um, you have to be super, super careful. So again, this is a really wonderful unit. It's all sealed. It's all direct drive. It's all dishwasher safe. So you can remove the blades out of the jug, you can remove the blades out of here, you can remove the tops, the lids, the jugs, everything. Everything can go in the dishwasher or you can hand wash itself. Again, if you're hand washing, please be careful with the blades. I cannot express that enough. These are super duper sharp blades. So let's pop it on. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the actual unit on itself and we're gonna go for a blend. We're not gonna go for an ultra blend, we're just gonna go for a blend. So watch out headphone users. So we've got 40 seconds, so I might speed this up a little. And again, this isn't shaking at all. top and you can do two things like I say you can get your little top here we can pop off the lid being careful not to drop it on the surface and we can pop on the lid on here and like I say it's sealed it's not going anywhere I'm kind of like it, it just won't go so what I can now do is open it up it's so lovely you've got to click on it so you know it's closed and it's gonna last so long. These are so, so strong. And like I say, pop them in the dishwasher. You've not gotta worry about washing all these bits up. So easy. So, again, this looks really smooth anyway. I probably wouldn't have gone for the super smooth option. I can't see any bits in this at all. Um, I have dropped a few little bits on my counter hob and That's lovely. So, like I say, it's a super convenient, really easy, flexible way to make smoothie shakes, milkshakes, frappuccinos, anything that you're looking to make that's either got liquids or soft things, hard things. You can put anything you want in this and blend it up and it's going to hit it every time. So I'm going to pop all these things to the side, I'm going to pop the milk in the fridge and the fruit in the freezer and I'll come back to you with my summary of the Nutri Blender BL642 Blender. So in summary, the BL642 from Ninja, the 2.1 litre capacity blender with a multitude of different functions and accessories is absolutely astonishing. As you can see, it's whipped up really quickly, some lovely shakes, been able to pulse up some ice so quickly, but it can also as well deliver to you multiple things like soups and shakes and various other liquids and other things that you can use in the kitchen while cooking. I've been absolutely astonished by how quickly it was able to blitz up a huge amount of ice and create me something that I could create some lovely little slushies or ice drinks for my children and they can have fun as well or maybe for the adults some margaritas. 
So, I think if you're looking for a blender, yes, it may be a little loud, especially if it's 5 a.m. in the morning, but I would say that this is going to fit everybody's needs if they're looking to create something like a wonderful shake like this. So, if you want to take a look any further, please click the link in the description box down below. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you want to stay tuned for more videos, click that subscribe button. And if you've got any questions whatsoever, pop them in the comment section down below. And I look forward to seeing you in another video.